music. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. And what we did was we went back to the very beginning and we took the time to design a product that we put a concentration of, not the reduction of the original. And we felt strongly that 7.9 inches was exactly the right display size, but it became clear that we had to reduce the width of the borders so you could still pick it up and easily use it with one hand. We have continued to develop our unibody process. There are essentially two parts to the enclosure, the glass and the aluminium. And that junction where the two parts actually come together is incredibly important. The diamond cut chamfer meets seamlessly with the glass. And I think it's a beautiful detail that further reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely new smart cover for the old company. By eliminating the separate aluminium hinge, we now essentially wrap the iPad mini in a single, simple colored material. The biggest challenge that we faced was incorporating all of these great features in a much smaller and lighter device. In order to do this, every part had to be custom designed. We started with the display. The glass on the front and back are 0.2 millimeters thick. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thick. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. We designed a small motherboard to house the powerful e chip and built in the new smaller lighting camera. We also redesigned the eyesight based on HD cameras and allowed you to get amazing photos in HD. We've been able to build all of this technology into a device that is only 0.68 pounds and 7.2 millimeters thin. All of these efforts combined to make a product that is incredibly thin and has absolutely remarkable levels of fit and finish. And I think the result is an extraordinary iPad. One that will be used in so many different places, in so many different ways.